Hi fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. We're really excited to do a new product review for you today, something that we recently ordered, that we've gotten in, and we put through the test and we're ready to share a review with you guys. It's the Holder Reset 4 Golf Putter. We put it through the test, we're ready to share the details with you and let you know if it's a winner in our book here at Garage Golf. Stay tuned, check it out. Okay, so welcome back. So I've been really interested to try out this putter, so that's why we wanted to order it and get a feel. So just to give you an idea, right now, my everyday putter is a Spider Tour uh, by TaylorMade. So I've been really interested to test out this Reset 4 and put it head-to-head -head against, say, the Spider Tour, which I'm currently using now, and uh, kind of show you the differences between the two. So for those of you that don't know much about Holder Golf, the Reset 4 putter is what you would call a flat lie putter. So what that means is you're gonna stand a little bit further away from the ball uh, and it's going to set that putter down flat so you're going to be able to basically go back and through that putt and it's going to line up that shot for you a little bit easier it has a nice sight line on it i'll show you some pictures over here in just a few minutes and i'm also going to show you lining up the putt how it's a little bit different than say something like a tailor-made putter and uh, what kind of sets it apart as far as how the lie is set up so real interested to kind of show that to you so we'll get you some video here in just a second and kind of walk you through the differences between the reset four putter and something that's a little bit more traditional style putter as well. All right, so here's a look at the putter from a dress from the top. You'll see that it has a nice big sight line on the face of it. It is a center shafted putter, which really helps bring that swing back and through a little bit easier. It has what Holder Golf calls armor shield coating on it, which is something that's exclusive to them. Here you see the square grip, which helps with bringing that pendulum swing a little bit easier. I'll show you a nice close up view of the sight line here and the holder logo on the face of the club. And on the bottom you'll see that it has a nice cutout to it which helps with the moment of inertia and a really, really nice finish to this club. Okay, so let's show you something a little bit more traditional first, like a tailor-made putter and how I would stand and approach something like this. We'll hit a few putts for you and then we'll show you the difference with the Reset 4 putter. So with the tailor-made putter, I'm gonna stand obviously more upright based upon the, the line of the actual club. So we'll stand more upright. Now my swing is a straight back and through swing. So just to kind of give you an idea on how that putter works for my swing, obviously the tailor-made tour putter is one of the most popular ones, to give you an idea. We'll just line up the putt and putt it in. So, let me walk you through the difference now with the Reset 4 putter. Now the biggest difference with the Reset 4 putter is going to be the lie. It's considered a flat lie putter. So what that means is, number one, the difference, one of the biggest differences is you see it has a big sight line here, which helps you line up the putt, uh, which is something I was kind of looking for when I was looking for my next putter. So basically with the Reset 4, you're gonna line up a little bit further away from the ball Allow your arms to extend naturally, and then you're basically gonna just go back and through with the putter. It's a very smooth motion, something I really liked. Lots of good reviews on this putter, which is part of why I wanted to order it and take a look for myself. It's a nice fluid you know, swing, which is something I was looking for. And I really think that that flat lie really helps creating a better putter stroke for my personal swing anyways. So obviously you're not going to make them all. It's not an end-all, fix-all, you know, type of deal. You're still going to miss putts. But the biggest thing is getting you the confidence that you need, the right approach for your specific swing. So it's definitely something that I suggest you test out. Um, but again, this is just here in a simulator, so first things first, let's get this bad boy on the actual course, let's take some putts with it, we're going to get Danny to help us test it out as well today, get some real life environment, obviously we can hit it here all day long, but the biggest thing is how is this going to perform on an actual golf course, so let's take you there here now, give you an idea on what exactly the Holder Reset 4 putter will do for your golf game. Okay, so here we are at the Golf Club of Texas. You're here trying out the Holder Reset 4 Golf Putter. We've been having a really good round so far with it. We're about halfway through our round now. It's definitely something we've been enjoying. We really like a lot of the features about it. It's a uh, flat lie putter, which is really cool. It helps you line up your shot a little bit easier. We're really liking that. 
I um, also like that it's uh, just really easy and smooth to hit. So we'll show you a few of the shots. Uh, so far, we've really been liking it. Something Danny and I have both been using today. And it's definitely something we're looking forward to continuing trying out here at Garage Golf. All right, so let's take a look at some of the putts from throughout the day. We had a really great time trying out this putter today and had a really good experience. We'll give you some shots from different angles to kind of show you the putter a little bit better. One of the things that we did several times throughout the day was we put it off the fringe, as you see here. And overall, it interacted quite well. Distance control was pretty much spot on throughout the day, which was really important to us. Making putts was pretty easy from within 8 feet or less for the most part, even on bumpy lies like that. I'd love to tell you guys that we made every single putt and had great distance on everything, but that's just never going to be the case. As you see, Danny comes up a bit short on this putt, but from pretty far away in all fairness. Overall, though, as you see, even on the missed putts, we had a great opportunity to make it, and that's really important to be at or around that hole. A couple of near misses on birdie putts that we tapped in for par. Danny had a pretty good experience overall as well with the putter. And he's kind of more used to a blade putter though, so it took some adjusting for him. But throughout the day, we saw time and time again putts going in, which was really exciting for us testing out this Reset 4 putter. Alright, so we're back here in the Garage Golf Studio now. Um, after spending some time out on the actual course, spending a lot of time in here testing out this putter, it's definitely something that I'm pleased with. Uh, it's got to give me a little bit more use to it as far as the flat lie and kind of adjusting my putter swing because it's something I've been doing for years. But I think it's definitely something that I like. I like the sight line a lot. Uh, I'm really a big fan of Holder Golf and the company as far as what they're doing. That's part of why we really wanted to order this and test it out. So it's going to stay in the bag for now. I continue to always kind of fiddle with my putters. So it's definitely something I'm going to continue, you know, putting to the test against other putters that I have in my bag. I, I love the TaylorMade Spider Tour putter as well. I'm all a big fan of putters. So it's definitely something I've always, always been a big fan of. Uh, and I like something different. You know, I like having something different than other people out there that everybody else has. So Holder Golf is doing some really innovative things. I, I like it a lot. I like the technology. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not the most beautiful looking club in all honesty. That's, that's definitely true. I like the, the bottom, the sole of it though. It looks kind of unique, really cool. Um, but it's all about how it puts and it's really helping my individual putter swing a lot. Um, Danny was a little bit different. He's used to more of a blade. Uh, so I don't think it's the right club for him. It's not going to be the right club for everyone. I don't think any club is the right club for everyone, obviously. You're going to have people that fall into that niche. Uh, just so you know, though, they do have other type of putters on their website. Check them out, www.holdergolf.com. All in all, I think they're a great company and something that I'm looking forward to continue using here in the future. It might be something I'll do a product review update for you guys on here in the future as well. Let you know if it stayed in my bag or not. Uh, really excited to continue to use it. But if um, there's anything that we missed in the video, any questions you have, feel free to reach out to us anytime. If you liked our video, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And if you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell notification so you can be alerted anytime we come out with a new video like the one that you saw here today. Uh, we're really excited to continue doing these product reviews for you. It's something that we're going to keep doing. Now, we don't get these products for free. We typically have to pay for them uh, or order them ourselves similar to this one. But, you know, if there's something you guys really want to see and it's real popular, we'll see what we can do to help you guys out. As always, thanks again for hanging out with us and keep on golfing.